Welcome Taurus to your weekly reading. This is for the 24th to the 30th of April. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. We're going to start off by looking at the possible energy beginning the week. Then we will look at the possible energy at the middle of the week. And then finally we're going to look at the possible energy at the end of the week. This is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first energy you're getting for us is Fork in the Road, number 13. So we do see at the beginning of the week, you are going to probably have to make quite a significant decision. Maybe you're choosing between two options, could be in a job situation, a love situation. Of course, it's going to be so different for everybody, but we do see there is a decision to be made. And once we get our tarot, we'll get further insight. In the middle of the week, we've got number 21, clean it up. And when we get the clean it up card, there is just unfinished business somewhere. This could be something to relate to this decision you're making, or it could be in a completely different area of your life. But you've got something you need to take care of. Something somewhere where you need to pay attention. And then finally, at the end of the week, we have the possible energy of number 35, loyal heart which is a lovely energy because loyal heart really speaks to us of a significant relationship. So there is something with regards to a significant relationship that is coming up towards the end of the week. Taurus, let's go ahead now and get a tarot card for each of these energies and then we'll come back around again and clarify even further. So we'll start off with Fork in the Road. Let's see what that is for you. Okay. You have got the nine of pentacles. Clean it up. You've got the five of pentacles. And loyal heart, you've got the eight of swords. So we are going to start off here with our nine of pentacles. And we're just going to see what this nine of pentacles energy is for you is this nine of pentacles energy for taurus please high priestess okay you do have a very significant decision to make and i think this decision is very much about your well-being what is right for you what is good for you and i think you know what to do with High Priestess coming out here, I think perhaps you've been thinking about this for quite some time. You know what you need to do, but there might have been certain circumstances or reasons why you didn't do it. However, because it's coming up at the beginning of the week, I feel that you're going to really address this energy. With the Nine of Pentacles coming out, I feel it's a very significant decision. You know, when Nine of Pentacles presents itself, it's really telling me you have to look after yourself. This is about your mental, your physical, your spiritual and emotional well-being, Taurus. This is not something that you can put on the back burner. High Priestess is just telling me whatever you feel is the right decision, don't second guess it. It's right your gut feeling, your hunch regarding this move, this direction and what you're choosing to do, whatever that deep feeling inside you is all about, don't second guess it, trust it and make the move. This energy is quite significant, it's quite strong and it's the energy we're seeing at the beginning of the week. Let's go ahead now and see what our Five of Pentacles energy is that is sitting in the possible energy in the middle of the week. So we now want to clarify Five of Pentacles. All right, let's see what this Five of Pentacles energy is for Taurus, please. What is this Five of Pentacles energy? 
Six of Cups. Okay. Taurus, in the middle of the week, we get in the energy of cleaning something up. Remember, it was the energy of something you have to pay attention to. Something with the energy of unfinished business. Now, with the Five of Pentacles coming in, it could very much have to do with this decision you're thinking about. And because we have got loyal heart over here, it could also have to do with a very significant relationship in your life. But it's the area in your life that has you feeling this Five of Pentacles energy, Taurus. And Five of Pentacles is the energy of feeling unseen, unloved, unrecognized, unsupported, and you're just out there on your own, really managing and battling through this energy without any guidance or love. With the Six of Cups coming through here, this could definitely be a relationship, Taurus, and it also could be a situation. And when I say situation, this could be, say, you being at a job for a long period, 5, 10, 15 years, and then all of a sudden, you're finding yourself kind of being pushed to the side, right? Maybe there is new energy, new young blood coming in, and you're not being given the respect that you were usually given, and you're just feeling that you've been quite marginalized, in a business scenario, right, this could be that you've had a certain business for very many years and all of a sudden you're feeling like the business is now going downhill. You're not getting the usual clients, contracts that you usually got. So it's going to be so different for everybody. But you have to clean it up. You have to look at it. You have to understand what is going on. So you can see now why wow, this could be very much related to our fork in the road energy and it's affecting your well-being. But I don't think we can downplay the high priestess here because I feel for a lot of my Tauruses, you already know the answer. You probably might not want to look at it or acknowledge it right now, but you know the answer. If you are feeling this way in whatever this is for you, whatever it is, be it a love, work, family, you name it, situation, you have to look at it, you have to address it, because feeling five of pentacles energy is not doing you any good, and there is work to be done here, which we saw by making this decision. Okay, let's go ahead now and see what this Eight of Swords energy is that is sitting under the energy of Loyal Heart. So let's see what this Eight of Swords energy is for Taurus, please. What is this Eight of Swords energy for Taurus? All right, let's see what we've got. Nine of Wands. Okay. Taurus, this loyal heart energy, I think is somebody or something that you have given your heart and soul to. You committed to it, be it a relationship, be it a job, a business, whatever it is, you really committed to it and you wanted it to go the distance. But with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands coming out, Eight of Swords is telling me that this has not been 100% right for quite a substantial amount of time because it has you feeling, what am I going to do about this? I'm very much committed to it. I love this person. I love my job. I've been put in years into this business, but something is not right. And Eight of Swords is telling me you got into the energy of not wanting to look at anything, feeling you had no options. You couldn't turn left, you couldn't turn right, you didn't know what to do. And this is why Fork in the Road is coming in as your first energy. It's like, this is the first thing you need to address this week, Taurus. Now remember with Eight of Swords, 
It's just the energy you're feeling at this time. This is not a permanent energy. It's just regarding this situation. With Nine of Wands coming through, I think you've really tried, my dear Taurus. Nine of Wands is the energy of really standing strong, trying to hold the position, trying to rectify whatever this energy is for you. You did whatever you could, right? You didn't want to just give up. You didn't want to throw in the towel. You didn't, my dear Taurus. You didn't give up. You took hard energy, right? This Five of Pentacles energy. You know, Five of Pentacles is not easy energy. So this is why it's now coming through. You've got to look after yourself. You've got to take care of yourself here. You cannot stay in this energy for too much longer because it's going to become harmful. You've done what you can. You really stood your ground. You fought for it, be it your you know, your relationship, your business, your job, you did whatever you can. But now, big message coming through is that you have to see this for what it is. Trust your intuition, my dear Taurus. It's not going to lead you astray. It's going to give you the direction and the insight you need and make your decision. Now, whatever you decide, Taurus, is going to be right for you. This clean it up energy doesn't mean you necessarily have to walk away from it, right? It doesn't mean that you have to end the relationship, resign from the job, close the business. It doesn't mean that. But it does mean you have to clean something up. So what does that mean? Just for example, if you are in a relationship that is giving you this energy, but it's been going on for the longest time. And we've seen you've done whatever you can, you've stood there, you've persevered, you pushed through. You now have to do something a little different. Say perhaps you do not want to walk away from the relationship. There is still a change that needs to come in. Now, of course, this will be different for all my Tauruses. Maybe you speak to your partner or your significant other and you say, listen, I'm feeling this energy, unloved, unappreciated, and it's really starting to affect me. We have to make a change. Work with me and let's see how we can get our relationship back on track. Okay, maybe then you have a very good and meaningful discussion. Maybe if you cannot find an answer, maybe you go into counseling because you both want to see how you can salvage this relationship. Remember, most important here is your well-being. If this, say, is perhaps your job, you've been in your job five, ten years, and you're starting to feel marginalized, pushed out, right? You're not being included in meetings, in decision-making, whereas before you were. Address it, my dear Taurus. If this is not something that you want to walk away from, Speak to somebody, speak to your boss, speak to a superior, speak to human resources, whatever it takes. If you do not want to leave, see if there is a possibility. Do everything that you can and then make your decision. But you do not need to stay in five of pentacles energy. Clean it up, my dear Taurus, whatever that means for you and trust what feels right. You cannot go wrong by letting that be your compass this week. Right, let's go ahead now and get a message from your guides for the week. So we just want to see what Taurus's guides would like to share with them for this week, please. Let's see what we have here, my dear Taurus. And you've got intuition. Wow, that really has come out strong for you. So we've got intuition and high priestess. This message is coming from your inner child, right? Your inner child is speaking to you. You've got that feeling inside. Don't doubt it. Don't second guess it. The number 42 is your auspicious number this week. So any combination or variation of the numbers, four and two, please consider very lucky. And you, my dear Taurus, all you need to do this week is listen 
listen to your intuition with it coming out twice. This is going to be your guiding light. This is going to show you what your next step should be. But we do see you really taking a very active and strong step in terms of this Five of Pentacles energy because it's not sustainable. So this is going to be a big week for you. That's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you so much love.